superior. Yo, what's good, Phil family? It's your boy, Real J Phil, man. I got a guest with me today on this video. What's up, y'all? Y'all know who it is. It's your boy, Missing the Stood. Hey, man. As y'all see in the title and the thumbnail, I'm finna lit these windows up because I don't like it. It's hot as hell, man. <laughs> as y'all see in the title and the thumbnail, man, we got HBCU expectations and confessions, but the Tennessee State University edition because we go to TSU. So we're going to get y'all what we expected and what the reality was of these certain topics. All right, so the first topic is going to be parties. So tell me what you expected about the parties at TSU, and then, all right, this is how we're gonna do it. You tell me what you expected, I'm gonna tell you what I expected, then we gonna tell our reality. Okay. All right, so go ahead with your expectation. So we're gonna do this for everyone, or we're gonna like switch it? We can switch it. Okay. Okay, so, um, for the niggas that really know me, you know, I'm not really like a partier anyways. Like, you know, I like slide outside and shit, but like partying, like I'm not, pushing the party every like weekend you get what i'm saying like missing the party i i chill at the crib and like watch youtube so parties i mean i knew that parties was gonna be like cool and all and like i know like covid had happened and shit but it was like i mean i knew the parties was supposed to be busting now I know niggas were saying like COVID is gonna happen and like that shit slowed a lot of shit down. So people and people still say like to this day, uh, now we don't know about next year, but people say still to this day that like TSU like party wise, turn up wise, it still ain't hit like it's peak yet. Yeah. So like I'm really trying to see like what that shit like talking about. Really fool, when I before I got there, well, I expected I expect that would be turn because it's TSU like. Then, G, y'all know we stay in Memphis, so it's like we only, I mean, every Memphis nigga know about TSU. Everybody know TSU. It's gonna be hella parties. Y'all gonna be turned. It's gonna be hella shit. Like, y'all gonna be out late and shit. So, I kind of expected the parties to, I don't know. I think my expectations was, they matched a little bit, because it's like, like, like I always say, you can't be really warned or ready for what's gonna happen in college. It's like, that shit, I feel like that shit catch everybody off guard. No cap. But it's like, yeah, the parties was turned. I expected them to be turned though. Like, we was like, especially when we first got there, we was going out a lot. For, we were, you know, you know, doing recreational things, food. You know, we was enjoying, we was enjoying our, our first semester there, really. That shit was straight though, because it's like, really food, TSU is a party school. All the parties gonna be turned. Well, not all of them, but. Really? Majority of them. Yeah, like you gotta, the ones that niggas is posting like all the time, like niggas keep posting this little Western party when we first get back. Shout out Nashville, HB Red, yeah. though. Shout out Zeus. That's the party, nigga. Y'all probably, y'all gonna but know that, nigga. Y'all probably already know that, because I be seeing y'all yeah. freshmen post the uh, TSU 26, nigga. Yeah. I mean, I'm bullshit. Post the Nashville, HB Red shit. And Promote but, that shit. Yeah, yeah, so, you know. And we all them, did it. Yeah, facts, facts. So, yeah. most of them parties be turned. A lot of them, cause he threw the Caribbean party, the anything but a cup, all nah, that shit. He threw was some. He threw the two thousands. Was that? Was, yeah, he threw some busting parties. Shit. I'm not gonna lie. In. Yeah. Hey, for, for the freshmen, I know Zeus gonna thank us for this, but bro, hit up Zeus, cause really, you know, being a promoter, that shit gets you in the in the parties for free. Facts. And like, you don't gotta wait for the line. You know, all you gotta do is go to the couple of memes oh, and you post them parties, bro. Pass so that's a that's a that shit. thing for y'all parties. That's a thing, you know. Get with Zeus and get with that party promoter, cause nigga, we did it. Oh God, and, <laughs> and y'all, you know, we was turned. Yeah. So. so, all right. So that was, you know, that was like everybody, you know, parties in TSU. That's how it goes. So, the dorms and the cab. What was your expectations of the dorms and the calf? Which one you gonna do first? The calf. The calf, okay. Yeah. So, like, you know, me, me and Josh, you know, yeah. we went to private schools. Uh, and then, you know, me, I went to a public school. So, like, I'd have had the best of both worlds, but, like, I swear I had the best of both worlds. So, like, calf food, like, I knew it was gonna be like some days, it was gonna be like straight, you know, busting. I knew some days it was like, I wasn't gonna eat cause you know, it's still an HBCU, you know what I'm saying? So like, <laughs> some of that shit not gonna be good. It's still like, but like, and they always gonna have a pizza. Facts. But like, you know, it's like, I don't really know what my expectation was for yeah, the, the cab. I mean like, 
Wednesdays and Fridays. That's what I'm saying. Like that shit's good. That shit, I expected man. that shit. You know, I'm I'm expecting fried chicken. Cause fish. it is HBCU historically black. Black. Like you know? they gonna have fried chicken. They gonna yeah. have fried fish. You know. So <laughs> I was expecting this shit, fool. Yeah. So it's like. It's, it's what we what we expected is what we got, bro. You know, I'd have had ass ass food at public schools, and I had the Zaxby's and Chick Fil A oh, at, at, at private schools. So like, either way, bro, I'm cool. I'm chilling out that shit. Yeah, my shit really the same as his. Like, you really can't expect for no cab. Like, I had heard about fried chicken Wednesday from like watching folks' videos. I had heard about the fried fish Fridays. I know they be having wings and shit on Wednesdays and some days. I just like. I mean, it's really not like you can expect from a case of cafeteria, like. It's a cab, bro. Just know that hoe gonna be it's clutch. It's school food. It's yeah, Wednesday, it's, school. it's still school you food, ass still in school. So. You not eating that nigga Carabas or Rafferty's, nigga. This shit is school food. Yeah, bro. that shit, bro. In all honesty, food, that shit straight. Yeah, it's shit straight bro. food. You, you still gotta have your groceries, like your no noodles cow. and shit. So. Like, you still need to keep your pack of noodles, you yeah, know. Yeah, yeah. So, you need that's, that's where I gonna be noodles. straight. Snacks, you know, yeah, so cool through the day. All right, next we're going to do the dorms. I'll go first. Yeah. So, the dorms, fool, I expected them, because I had never seen TSU dorms before I came, G. I expected them to be, you know, not horrible, but I expect, I mean, I expected them to be a little a little weak, because I was standing in the freshman dorms. I expected the freshman dorms to be the weakest one, shit. But it's like, yeah, I, ex I ain't expect the best. The reality of that shit, fool, is not the dorms. I mean, the dorms is kind of bad. Don't get me wrong. Everybody got bad at it. Ain't nobody gonna have no five-star dorm, though. It's the, HBC. Yeah, um, come on. I mean, it's reality, <laughs> fool. Yeah, like, the dorms, I mean, they not horrible. It's the people in the dorms, fool. Like, it's the maturity level of the niggas that stand with you. It's the HBCU. It's the maturity of the niggas. They be bullshitting. They be fuck. Just know they be fucking the shit up, and they don't be cleaning up behind. It's the HBCU. Fool. Like they be bullshitting. It's sad, bro, but it's 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 the truth, fool. It's the HBCU. You know, we getting better. That's oh, what God. we're here for. Is we turn, are getting better. We turning the HBCUs Around. up. Like that's why we shooting out successful people, because that's our job is to make this shit better, bro. Thanks. But yeah, that was my expectation. The reality was shit. It's not, I say it's not the dorms, for it's the people. Like, a lot of these niggas be bullshitting in the dorms. Like, it's that whole clearly say don't flush brown paper towels. Niggas Ooh, still flush shit. them hoes. Niggas, like, the guard, niggas that throwing paper towels in the, in the trash, in the, in the, in the noodles sink, in the nigga. sink. Uh, niggas throwing their personal trash in the bathroom. Like, why is it Pizza Hut boxes and noodle wrappers in the bed and on the flow? Like, niggas be tripping. So, you can go ahead with yours. Okay, to piggyback off what he said, because that's what we on, um, bro. Like, bro, like, I want to say this and then I'm going to say what I thought about it. Yeah. Dorms, bro. My young niggas, you know, I'm grateful. Thank the Lord, bro. I've been on my shit. I'm getting an apartment. So, like, yeah. I ain't worried about this shit yeah. no more. Look, update. I, I got housed. They yeah. put me in an apartment. So, I'm being forward to Ford apartments. He got his own apartment. So, we still going to be on campus, yeah. baby, though. Don't get, okay. that, don't get fucked up. We still going to be on Wednesdays. Still vlogging and shit. So, don't get fucked up. Okay. No cap. But, back to the dorms, fool. Like, really, bro? This shit is a team effort, bro. Like, yo, yo, across the hall, mate. Yo, next door neighbor. Sorry. Like, Nigga, that's the nigga you gonna be, and I know this shit gonna sound cliche or corny, but that's the nigga you gonna be brushing your teeth with in the morning. Every day. Like real shit. Cause y'all either y'all got Me and Josh, every or... time we went in the bathroom. The band, the door's getting big, nigga. We saw the, the band, bro, band nigga, if you watch this, bro, you a real nigga. The little, but the, the band nigga, nigga, bro, the he band. was cool in the head. Bad we saw this nigga of. every day, fool. Oh so, bro, like, fool, like, treat that shit like it's your home, because it is, bro. That's clean, right. if you brushing your teeth, bro, clean your spit. If you, if you, you know, doing noodles, clean that shit up, Hold fool, because, like, the next nigga is going to do that shit. Oh, no, man. bro. And, bro, real shit. Girls, boy, that shit happen. Niggas got to Niggas gotta take a dump, bro. Oh, God. Don't ruin the fucking restroom for the next nigga, bro. Yeah, I swear to God, I woke up one day. Nigga had to floors. go through five flows, bro. 
Like food, like that shit. Every day you can't shit on your hog because the nigga wanna boo. Hey y'all niggas, niggas in the hell probably laughing at this food. But when this shit happens to you on oh God, when this shit come big. to one of us and say, nigga, you told me so. Cause bro, I'm telling you for that shit not sweet for that shit make you mad, bro. You be hot as hell. So bro, treat that shit like it's your home, bro. Please, like, fool. Please. I'm but please. my expectation, bro. I ain't gonna lie, bro. I thought, I thought so bad about the doing, bro. Like, oh, this shit gonna be small. We ain't gonna have no air conditioning. Yeah. So really, bro, my expectations was I like... Open that fucking window. My expectations, though, like, th they really... What I thought I was gonna stay in, it actually exceeded it. I thought it was way worse. Like, way worse, bro. Like, and, like, it, I think it just takes time of getting used to uh, adjustment and, like, you know, living spaces living with a bunch of niggas brushing your teeth in the bathroom like it's just a bunch of adjustments you're gonna have to have bro niggas pick out pick up after yourself in the shower hey. too N bro like it's just shit oh, like that. Uh, gee if you shave don't leave your stuff in the bottom of the shower well, that shit is disgusting that shit trifling that shit disgusting you will not do that at your mama house bro, that shit bad, bro. like for it, girls too like bro it, it, girls boys either one y'all niggas gonna go through the same shit because i heard them wilson girls bro i heard y'all was nasty in that motherfucker too shit. fool sure. God. Like it wasn't just the niggas, like the girls, nigga, girls, y'all gonna go through that shit, same yes. shit. So like, you know, just just be just be be mindful of other people, of other niggas, fool. And like that shit just nasty for yourself. If you living like that for yourself, that shit nasty. If you wake up and see that shit, you gonna be talking shit, just like talking me. shit, fool. I was talking bad shit. All right, the next one, fool. What you expect homecoming to be like this year? No, what did you expect homecoming last? Like, what, like, before you came to TSU, what was your expectations of homecoming? Like, what you thought it was gonna be like? You talk, okay. So answer this. Did, did homecoming... The week or the game? The week. Or the, like, the day? Fuck the game, the okay. week. The homecoming week. The whole, cause you know it's like events, all the whole lineup and shit. I know. What you, ex like... Bro, homecoming... Did that all exceed your expectations? Like, did be li was it live than you thought it was? Homecoming was it, and it, it's not like like you said earlier, bro. It was like you cannot like college students. You cannot you guess. Can't be ready for this. Like you cannot up. be ready for this. Like you gonna be like, damn, bro. Like and like for real shit. I don't know. Parents watching this, are you watching this with hey, your mama? But uh, your mama live. Uh, shout out to Kyron. Yeah. Shout out Kyron, mama. Yeah. She, this dude named Kyron comes to his mom watching hey, watch videos. W mama. So shout out. But like, Kyra mom. Mom, hey mama, my dudes, you know you lived your college life. <laughs> my dudes, like real, real shit, my dudes, you know you lived your college life. So like, it's like, it's your first time being free food. You gonna be with all your niggas, girls. You gonna be Ooh. with all your bitches, your girls, bro. So it's gonna uh, be like, nigga, y'all gonna be outside, and like, you know, we still young, so I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna say all the shit. You know, but things. You, you won't be outside. So yeah. it's like, bro, like, it's like you not going to be ready until, like, it's like, like, you going to live that week day by day, fool. And, like, I know I, I know I'm, but take y'all ass to class, fool. Yeah, please. go to class. Because let me tell you something. They me and Josh, out. we in class homecoming week. We outside after. Oh, God. Yeah, your class is not going to take that much It's time. not going to. Like, you can miss you two hours up, of being outside. Even if you show up, pick your face in that moment. Yeah, it's not going to be long because it's hot. They know. Yeah, they, they realize know. it's hot. Like, some of your teachers, like, they going to want to be outside, too. So, like, bro, just peek your face in there at least one day out of the week, bro. Hey. And, like, just go and go to class, bro. Yeah, my shit, homecoming. I thought homecoming. I expected homecoming to be turned. They all did exceed my expectations. Of homecoming. It's like you can't be ready for this. Homecoming shit, was crazy. So we went out. We went out, I think, all six nights to homecoming. All six nights. We would come back at 3 in the morning. I like, remember falling asleep in the car. I remember Trey fell asleep in the car. Fool. I think that was homecoming week. I think it was first day, Regie, first day of homecoming, it was a fucking day. They was there burning out. It wasn't even homecoming yet. Yeah, it was, it the was night Sunday. Before. Yeah, gee, we was out at two in the I'm, I'm gonna put a clip in right here. We was out at two in the morning. And if y'all think if y'all think if y'all think that clip that he showed y'all like oh busting, bro, really just wait till this year. Cause let me tell y'all something. I'm with the niggas like that's doing the car meets and shit, cause like that's where a bunch of my country gonna be coming from. So, bro, we finna have so much shit for y'all, bro. Oh my god, bro. So, sure. this shit was an experience. I'm, I just can't time. wait till y'all like see this shit. That's for real. real. All right, the next one for me. It's kind of like homecoming, but it's later in the year. Tiger Fist. 
Did the hell exceed your expectations? Or you want me to go first? You can go first. I'm gonna say food. Tiger Fest is three days. G. Niggas was telling me Tiger Fest is gonna be turned, but I'm like, the folk, they was like flipping the parties and the parties was coming out late. I thought Tiger Fest was gonna be ass, respectfully. I didn't think it was gonna be ass. I thought it was gonna be like worse than Hong Kong, like a little decent. G. Tiger Fest was the funnest shit ever. Y'all seen y'all seen my Tiger Fest videos. I I was doing YouTube during I mean I was doing YouTube during Tiger Fest. I wasn't doing YouTube during Homecoming. Gee, Tiger Fest was so fucking fun. Like we was like just all we was out all three days. Like I remember making a post on Instagram. I was like, I lost the Tiger Fest this year, try again next year. That shit was so fun. Like I remember like that because Tiger Fest is kind of when I started to get like I started growing on YouTube fast, so y'all was like texting me like, bro, y'all was so like that shit looked fun. Really, that shit was fun as hell. Like the slide show, the freak Nick. Then we had some fun. You remember we was at the park? They had the little shit at the park where it was hella deep. Uh, what else? I uh, was over Tiger Fest. The actual Tiger Fest when you got the Camaro, like, it was hella shit. Bro. that shit was fun as fuck. So I say Tiger Fest was. Fun is like that shit exceeded it by a million. That shit was amazing, bro. So go ahead with yours. I think food. And another reason why our Tiger Fest was fun too, bro, is because we saved money. Like all of us yeah. was like, e either if it was like working a nine to five or like DoorDash and Uber or something like, nigga, we were saving money for um Tiger Fest. So we knew we, we, knew we wanted to like, so like that I, I can say that's another reason why it exceeded like our expectations because like we made it fun. Like nigga, yeah. I got a Camaro. I I, I shit, I regret that shit now, fool. <laughs> I'm Man, not gonna say my y'all saw y'all saw it in that vlog. Ashley had the Camaro. Yeah. We was riding with the top oh, That shit and was shit. fun as fuck. Like bro. that was fun, young nigga shit. We was like, out all, all day. All day. Cause Tiger all Fest started. Night. I think we got the Tiger Fest at one, and we cause we ended up going to that party that night. We didn't get back to like three. We was out over twelve hours. This like, shit no was rest. Good. Then the freak nigga, we was out that day too. Shh, that shit was turned. That shit, I definitely think that shit exceeded the expectations. Yeah, it did. I can say that. All right, so the last one, this will be the last one, and this is kind of more on like the business standpoint, network, like meeting new people, getting your name out there, you know, cause uh, you know us as YouTubers, you know, we kind of gotta, yeah, we gotta network. We're supposed to be known, like, uh, you know, if you, if we see other YouTubers on camera, let them know we do it, you know. Cause I mean now this year I'm walking around with a big ass camera. Like, I was walking around with my phone last year. I'm walking around with my big ass camera vlogging. So it's like it's just you never know who you can meet. Like uh shout out Mari, the drink Mar Dream Crew Mari. Me and him the guy cool. And you never know like what's what somebody else can do for you okay. when it comes to this shit. Like like and I'm just I'm just calling out names of people that do shit. Like Brando, he a photographer, Ashton a photographer, Doug, he a photographer, do videography. Mari edited and, and graphic design. You got us, me, Dre, Trey, Tori, Ashley. We all do YouTube. We YouTubers. You got Nala. She do hair. Shamia. She do lashes. Everybody do something. Like, it's just like, you all, like, if you need something done, if you trying to get a business asset, a collab, trying to talk to somebody, like, trying to get some advice from somebody, like, some uh, you up to coming YouTubers, y'all ask me for advice. That networking, y'all like y'all letting me know stuff like, like Jamal, you and Liv, y'all, you know, y'all TSU twenty six, y'all told me y'all do YouTube, like, Liv asked me stuff, and like I'm gonna just tell y'all this, y'all can ask me anything. Shout out to Liv, she asks me stuff all the time about YouTube. She always asks me, do you think I should upload it this time? How do I do this, and bro? I, I text back instantly, just like Jamal. I got his, I got his post notifications on. I'm watching your shit. I'ma post your shit. All that, bro. So it's like, take advantage of the networking. I didn't expect the networking to be like that, though. Like you, of course you got them stubborn, stuck up motherfuckers. But other than them, fool, like, take advantage of networking and getting your name out there. Especially if you got a business, like people do clothes, like Merc, Merc do clothes. So shit, whatever you do, fool. I say be open to networking. Be open to at least hearing what somebody got to say. The networking aspect exceeded my expectations tremendously. Like, right. that's probably the most, like, 
the most out of all these ones that like exceeded it that's the most one bro like i done got put on to so much shit y'all like i done got put on to so much shit like so much shit i got so many opportunities so much shit like i'm like it, it, i done got put on to so much shit y'all so now uh, let me tell y'all something be be somewhere at the right time nigga like even if it's like bible study y'all like i'm i'm one of the now i can say this i'm it's an organization now and why it changes the organization and so it's like bro like even being at bible study even being at a tsu event like even being in like a a workshop nigga like being at the right place at the right time talking to people not being scared to communicate bro i'm telling y'all bro like it's not only gonna like help you it's gonna put money in y'all pocket <laughs> Is it is it's either gonna put money in your pocket or it's gonna like boost what you got what you trying to do like I mean like I always say I don't make money off YouTube yeah. yet yeah but it boosted me shit like, like y'all like, see I just started in January and I y'all know we can hit 500 subs I got videos yeah, like my campus out. tour from the BS 7K I got videos that's going up so you know we like I always say we on the road to 1K but that shit will put money in your pocket or yeah. boost you and get you to talk to the right people that you need to talk to because. Listen, fool. A lot of these niggas got knowledge. A lot of these niggas know way more than you know. Like, Ashlyn just showed me some on my camera. Y'all might notice the difference. He just showed me some on my camera that changed it. Make it make the quality look bad, yeah, bro. Like, you never know, fool. That's, that's why my, I say... That's my favorite word, fool, is listen, bro. Listen, like, it's bro. like, even if even if you think, like, in your head, but, like, this nigga don't know nothing he fucking talking about, fool. Sometimes, fool, just listen, fool. Instead of, like, jumping on that shit, bro, listen to a nigga, bro, because I'm telling y'all, bro, listening, like, it, 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 it helps you learn, bro. Not only, like, for school, but, like, for other shit. Like, you got so many opportunities that you just listen to a nigga. Like, surround yourself to niggas that you can listen to, learn from, bro. Like, I'm telling y'all, networking. And like he said, Mari, Brando, you know, Doug. Yeah, us, our group, us, the whole thing. Nigga, eight. even if y'all come up to me and be like, man, bro, I see a nigga. I'm trying to learn that camera shit. Or like, shit, I'm trying to learn how to design these clothes and shit. I'm trying to learn how to, you know, do this editing shit, this YouTube oh, shit. Bro, like, nigga, what the worst thing a nigga can say is, no. Fool, hell nah, fool. No, I can't fool, give you I the sauce. That's the worst thing a we nigga can say. We not gonna say that shit though. We gonna help y'all, man. Sure. That's the worst thing a nigga can say though, bro. So like, don't be asked to ask nobody. That's a life lesson. Don't be asked to like, don't be scared to network with nobody, bro. That's all I get, bro. Yeah, so hey, that was the last topic, man. You know, those were our expectations and realities of, you know, the expectations we had and the reality of how TSU actually was, which, so, all right, we're going to just grade TSU as a whole. The TSU... As, as freshman year or, like, as like as, as I'm looking year. at it now? <laughs> as freshman year. Like, when you finish your freshman year. Oh, looking back at it. Do you think it, do you think it surpassed your Not expectations? my opinion right now. Yeah. On it right now. Because all this other shit is, like, a, a strong C.5. Damn. Point yeah, I forgot. All this yeah, other shit, that, bro. Uh, unprofessional a strong, shit. A strong 6.5, 6. 6. bro. But, like, looking back at it, my 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 experience is is a cool seven and a half eight strong seven and a yeah, half eight for, sure. bro. for my freshman experience. Oh God! If you throw all like the y'all know the bullshit, you throw the housing bullshit, yeah. the scholarship bullshit, the financial aid, you throw all that bullshit away. I get a whole like that a nine a nine because TSU be turned. It's just the negative one because you know the dorms and shit. Dorms, the, the people in the dorms, office, the you know. Mission. Yeah. Now, like, now I ain't gonna lie, they getting they getting better on these advisors. They are getting better. Cause like my vibes are cool as hell. His vibes my are cool vibes as hell. Helped me out today. So she bro. put me in the class today when I need. And the class was full. Full, bro. Listen, if yo, if they, if it say that class full, ask your advisor. They could try to squeeze you in there. Cause Freshman. my put me in there for sure. Freshman cheat code, bro. Get cool with y'all advisor, bro. They can help you a lot. Get cool with y'all advisor, bro. Like I'm telling y'all, these advisors, they really the one that run that motherfucker. Oh, like. They call the shots when it comes to your schedule, your grades and shit. So, and they always get know who you need to talk to. Advisor, so focus your advisor. Get his schedule number. meetings. Be on Zoom. Get his number. Get his oh, email. Get her a number. Get her email. Get they boss email number. Like advising boy. the people that's hitting the post back. I, I, I swear to you, I got my advisor number saved in my phone. Facts. I do got my advisor. Make a relationship. 
But yeah, man. Those were expectations and reality. We just, you know, rated the school. So, and let me know what you expect, like, all my upcoming freshmen. And then the people that, that you know, that's upperclassmen and sophomores and shit. Let me know what you expected from TSU. And did they pass your expectations? Let me know, freshmen, do you think it's going to pass your expectations? Because y'all seen it from our point of view, so... Y'all probably expect this hoe to be crazy because we was turned. So, hey, man. But it's been your boy, The Real J. Phil. I'm checking out. Appreciate my boy Ashley yeah. for coming through on the channel, no you problem. know. Hey, man. Like I said earlier, we on the road to 1K subs. We just hit 500. That was the goal before August. So, I ain't even going to set no goal again since y'all just smashing shit. But, hey, man. Y'all know. Keep clicking the like button. Keep, keep subscribing. I'ma keep going up. I'ma stay consistent. Hey, it's been your boy, the real J. Phil, straight HD 4K movie, man, and I'm out. No doubt.